sure. And, and this, oh, <gasps> he's playing Rosa. Yes, he's playing Rosalina. That's exciting. Now we get Utopian Ray as Rosalina. Usually he is known as the Palutena, the Banjo, the That's Rob. It. No, the, yes. the, the Rob's not real. The okay, Rob he's known as the Palu, he's known as the, the, the Banjo. But I've been hearing about the Rosalina. The Rosalina The, the return Smash of the Rosalina. is coming back. And honestly, we just saw Gen 1 Xeno yesterday. So did he really? Yeah, he oh, did. Wow. Nice. Okay, so I would say that there are some characters at the top level that Rosa can like compete against. There's like a couple where she's actually not bad against at all. Palutena is like not terrible, you know? Like you, you would typically think, all right, top tier versus like a mid tier, it's probably pretty bad. It, it's not the worst. She has more range than her, so she's allowed to kind of fight her in the air. Other, other than back air, of course, because that's invincible. And I absolutely love how they're all playing under this little platform on the right side. But now oh, wow. we get that up tilt from Jen, a classic Palutena early kill. Yeah, that's going to be pretty rough against Rosa because she's so tall and light. That's going to chill poke extremely early on, on a shield. So that's something to watch out for. Also, Nair shield pokes very early on Rosalina because she's so damn big. Absolutely. I was just going to talk about the washing machine of Nair's that Jen just pulled out and how Plumo is trying so hard to kind of like intercept with it but not actually taking it. I think the Luma, either Jen just messed up the combo because like he could have gotten more off that or the Luma kind of messed up like the hit stun of that so like it made it not true anymore. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that Ray also knows how to DI Polo combos. I'm sure he knows, you know, the character very, very well. So. Absolutely, but I really see that oh, Luma is getting pushed spawned and died immediately. I That's know. so sad. What a shame. Rose's kill options are pretty linear. I mean, mm -hmm. you're looking for mainly like uh, up smash, and like there it there is. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the only move that I can think of that's like her consistent kill option. You know, Luma has like forward smash too, but that's way more committal. There you go. A lot of up smashes from Utopian, right? Obviously, yeah. as just uh, Shy Guy said too, as one of the only yeah few reliable options to kill. Yeah. But Jen is doing such a really good job. Great job at just pushing the. Uh, Luma out. Oh, what an excellent pick and grab. That was really good. Yeah, it was. Um, I I really like uh, how people are playing against Palutena down throw these days. They're not like air dodging for no reason. They know, the people who know Palutena, they know that there's nothing true. So they just hold out and then like just dr drift away or maybe they jump. Because like there's nothing threatening from her that she can actually hit you with. So y if you saw like there at the end of that stock, he played very well against the uh, the down throw there. I killed the same. Yeah, really nice on Jen for just pushing out Luma. Um, we haven't seen a bunch of Luma supported moves just because of how yeah, dying. easily uh, Jen just destroys yeah. Luma. Yeah, Luma's been, Luma's been dying fast. And you know, Paul is allowed to throw safe buttons out on your shield. That was such a good fair. She's allowed to throw safe buttons out on, on your shield, which characters who can do that can kill Luma. Mm -hmm. And they, um, Rang really needs to close out the stock before they. Because now they're oh. already at kill percentage. That back air not exactly going to really take it. But ooh, that was a low nair. Oh, he's alive? Yeah, okay. and we see that going all the way down. You know exactly what's going to happen. Your down smash not taking it just yet. Going for the spike. Nothing to go. But dash attack. preemptive on that up smash. Dash attack is going to take it. I kn that up smash had potential. I feel like that up smash read a jump in. Because like if you read the dash attack in, which is like a lot of Paulos do that out of the corner when they want to stop, when they want to get positioning back. You know, it's obviously invincible and you can't challenge it. But I think he read a jump in there. Mm -hmm. And just Jen's got, like, the patience against the ledge to not panic there. So he didn't give it to him. And just, like, you really want, he really wants to close off the stock. It's just you got to, you know, finish it up and you're going to go for Rosalina's kill move. Yeah, her, her one kill move. Okay. And now into um, PS2. Do you Sorry. Know? This is Battlefield. Yeah, this is Battlefield. I don't know. Okay. All right. So, uh... Do you, do you know, actually, if Rosa can do that thing or what she could do in the last game where Luma does a dash attack, but she does a dash grab and, like, you kind of, like, OS people's shields? Or no? I am not too sure. Okay. I'm actually not familiar with Smash 4 at all. Oh, fair. Okay. So, asking the wrong person. You might die? Okay. Well, time there, though. I think if, if it's anything like the last game, he does have a thing you can do where Rosa does a She's so big. I don't know what he was reading. He probably like the roll on, but he just normal got up and then rolled on because he thought he'd be behind her. But Rose is a big body for some reason. Right, and that big body is really um, not going for Ray's advantage. Yeah. Lots of uh, moves that 
Honestly, Ow. you can like fall out with other characters is just gonna hit with yeah, Rosalina. Yeah, it's true. Wow, that was a very early kill. I think there, if, if you saw, like, Jen's not afraid to go and, like, hit Luma. Like, just combo Luma all the way up. Because if Ray goes to challenge Palu, or if uh, Rosa goes to challenge Palu, she can just have better air to airs. She'll always win that. Mm -hmm. A really nice up smash on um, the center platform. I'm sure um, Ray was expecting Jen to go nice. for a teleport cancel, but yeah. actually went up top. That was a really good bait right there on the edge. You like dashed in to give him the grab, but then dashed back out. Ray's like very aware of Politana's burst range, which is really important when you're up the fighter. Oh, nice. Fair. That's not a fun hit. That sucks. <laughs> wow. wow. Not killing yet? Wow, I'm surprised. Okay. Next one will, and you know he's kind of looking for it now. Or... Twinkle, twinkle. There it is. Wow, that almost killed too. I didn't know multi jab kills. With Luma, I'm sure he kills. I think this will take it. Wow, yeah. yeah, that's super turkey. That was like 130. That's that's mm -hmm. pretty good. Okay, so she has two kill moves now. Um, I mean, he's not at kill percent for anything that Palutena can do other than like a hard re forward smash for right now. So he's not really afraid of dying. Like this is no way this is gonna kill. Yeah. But now though, now you're in up air. Now you're in back air. Now you're in back throw like that. Oh, yep. There you go. That was, he's really good. I mean, a lot of people do that tri-state twister thing where they, like, walk to the ledge or roll to the ledge and then they, like, get ready for a back throw to catch the opponent slipping. But, like, Jen's really good at it. Yeah, and we see it used multiple times in this match, especially yeah. in the first one. Just keeping their distance, not trying to get too close. I think I just saw the thing where the Luma does the dash tag, but the Apollo does the grab, or the, the Rosa does the grab. So that is still in this game, which is... Pretty cool. I love that. You saw he like mm -hmm. drifted onto ledge and like only had the Luma did, did the forward air when it, like Rosa landed with no lag. Right. I don't know how he did that, but that's really good. I really, it's shown quite. No, off. Right. no, 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 that's no. not. No, yeah. no, no. Come on. Okay. Paulo does not have kills off of grab anymore, but he she has kills off of down tilt. Not that okay, though. Okay, okay. I wonder if he meant to roar better there, because that's usually what Paulos go for. This is such a scary position to be in. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're like cornered just... as a giant body light character versus Palutena, and she's like just short hopping at you. It's it's scary. Yeah, you're just kind of stuck there. There's not really.